Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and the problem of the day. The following pedigree shows the inheritance of ataxia, a rare neurological disorder characterized by uncoordinated movements. Is ataxia caused by dominant or recessive allele? Explain. So take a look. And uh, it looks like this is uh, autosomal dominant genetic disorder because we see uh, different sexes affected with this genetic disorder so it have to be autosomal we also see that uh, someone in each generation is affected it looks like it have to be dominant but what probably uh, would perplex many people how these people who are not affected with this dominant genetic disorder has affected child what we see here can be explained with incomplete or reduced penetrance and incomplete dominance or low penetrance. So what is the definition of complete and incomplete or reduced penetrance? For example, an allele is said to have a complete penetrance if all individuals who have the disease causing mutation have clinical symptoms of the disease. And we can see it on this uh, right branch of the family where every person who is affected got this disease from his ancestor. In incomplete or reduced penetrance, some individuals will not express the trait even though they carry the allele. And an example of an autosomal dominant condition showing incomplete penetrance is familial breast cancer due to mutation in the BRCA1 gene. And in families with mutation with this gene, about 80% lifetime risk for developing breast cancer. And also it depends on the gender. Uh, for example, females uh, have it more frequent than males. So uh, we would say, for example, for BRCA1 gene, uh, the probability to develop uh, this condition would be 80%. So what is a high and low penetrance? If an allele is highly penetrant, then the trait is, uh, that is produced will almost always be apparent in individual carrying the allele. An allele with low penetrance will only occasionally produce the trait with which it is associated. In cases of low penetrance, it can be difficult to distinguish environmental from genetic factors and um, think about it uh, some diseases uh, need two factors first genetic factor and second need uh, environmental factor for example phenylkinaturia this is disease uh, inherited disease which cause inability to metabolize phenylalanine that cause brain and nerve damage if untreated but you are not going to develop this genetic disorder if you uh, have a genetic component of this disease, if you exclude this amino acid phenylalanine from your diet, then you are going to be a healthy person. So this is example uh, also of two factors of many genetic disorders, which also includes environmental factor. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.